Equid Dropshipping with AliExpress Tutorial for Beginners Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Equid Dropshipping with AliExpress in the easiest and most simplest steps possible. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, first of all, obviously, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and discuss Equid. Now, if you don't know what Equid is, Equid is one of the best e-commerce like it's in the tops with you know Shopify, Wix, BigCommerce and stuff like that. So we're gonna head into the Equid.com website. Now once we're here we can see Equid is officially Lightspeed and start selling for free, online for free. We're putting free trials on trial with Equid. You get free forever. Set up your free account once and keep it as long as you like, seriously. Now over here you can see your free online store is just a few clicks away. Join hundreds of thousands of small businesses who trust Equid e-commerce to sell online. Then you can see you can sell anywhere, set up your Equid store once to easily sync and sell across a website, social media, marketplaces like Amazon and live in person. Get started with one or try them all. You can also grow faster, want easy to use marketing tools with MailChimp, plus Google and Facebook advertising to grow your business fast. You got it. Then. Uh, you can also manage simply and uh, yeah, it, there's like light speed of payments from the US and much, much more. Now, obviously, we're also going to discuss the pricings. Like obviously, with e-commerce platforms, pricings is one of the most important features. So here we are, start selling for free, upgrade whenever. Now, they do have a free trial, which we're going to be using today. But the main trials that you want to get if you want to like do this in the long run are, you know, the venture, which is a $14.08 business, which is a $29.08 and unlimited plan, which is an $82.50. Now, it's like all these features obviously get better. But uh, in my opinion, like the best would be a business if you're like a solopreneur. But if you're like a proper entrepreneur with a company, then you can go with the unlimited plan. Well, right now, what we're going to do is we're just going to get started and uh, create a store for free. And uh, then obviously, we're going to talk about how we can drop ship using AliExpress. Now, to sign up with your account, obviously, you're going to need to uh, create an account. Now, uh, what you can do is obviously set a name for yourself, okay? And once you've set the name, obviously you're gonna need an email. Now, right now, for this video, I'm gonna be using a temporary email to sign me up, but you, uh, like, if you're doing this in the long run, I recommend that you don't use a temporary email because obviously losing a temporary email is pretty easy and, um, like, you don't want that with, like, your e-commerce website, so, I'm just going to set a password. Now I'm going to click on next, set up your store. Now what it's going to do is it's going to ask, it might ask you a list of questions, which it's going to use to optimize your store basically. So here it says loading control panel. So we're just going to wait for it to load that in right quick. And while that is happening, I'm also going to open AliExpress on the side. So here we have it, AliExpress.com. I'm just going to open that right there. Now here it says, complete your registration, get a head start on your store setup. So obviously you're gonna fill out the, all these information in, pretty easy, pretty decent stuff. Uh, add your city, add your postal code. And uh, like this isn't necessary to be honest, but like there is nothing wrong with just adding these information. So just make sure to uh, fill in this information. And uh, once you do that, click on next. And once that happens, it says do you already have a website. It only asks that so it can like give you a domain. But if you don't, you can also create a custom domain like this. So once that is done, it's going to load you into your website. So you're just going to go ahead with create a store for free. And here you are in your Equid dashboard. Now, what's going to happen is obviously you're going to need to drop ship this and uh, add a drop shipping app for, you know, drop shipping your products. Now for that, what we're going to do is we're going to be using the apps. Now to use the apps, you're just going to go on apps and app market. Now, once you're in the app market, what's going to happen is you can either write AliExpress or you can use any of the other tons of drop shipping apps that are provided. So uh, you can basically use sub drop shipping if you want to. And like even if you just write drop ship, 
you can see you have Printful, you have Sup, you have Spocket, and much, much more. In my opinion, just go ahead and use Sup because it's totally free and it works amazingly. And uh, like we're gonna keep our AliExpress open here. Now you're just gonna install Sup. And once your Sup in is installed, we're gonna talk more on how to do this. So it like takes a millisecond to install your sub, so just like wait for it. And once it's done, you're gonna click on open app. Now what's gonna happen is obviously it's gonna integrate sub dropshipping with your Equid account. And it's like gonna be pretty quick. It's not gonna take a lot of time because obviously it was just redirected from your Equid. Now here you are, hello Equid online store. You can see you have your total orders and more stuff like that. Now what I like about SUP is it also gives you all these details and analysis of monthly orders and stuff. And yeah, it's pretty good stuff and uh, you can just like check it out however you want to. Now the two main ways on how you can you know drop ship products is obviously make sure you have a connected store and once you do that, you're either gonna be in fine product or you're just gonna be in you know imported products. So I'm gonna go on find product. Now you can just find product by sourcing or something like that, or you can just go here where it says product. And once you go on product, you can either go on the queue and you can select these products and stuff like that, or you can just enter an SKU code. So I'm gonna be teaching how to do that in like a second. Now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go on find product, come on imported products. Now once you're on imported products, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to AliExpress and go to whatever product that you wanna drop ship. So let's say, and make sure to drop ship a product that's pretty like popular. So let's say I'm gonna go and drop ship this product right here. These are Lenovo headphones, or let's say you want to drop ship uh, this watch right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open that in a new tab, and once you've done that, you're gonna copy the URL of that new tab. And once you've done that, you're gonna come here, you're gonna paste it, and you're gonna click on import product, and you're just gonna wait for the sub drop shipping to do its work. Now, sometimes, like, it might not work. So if that doesn't work, the product is probably not available for drop shipping, so what you can do is just go on any other product. It, like there's no issue if like the product doesn't work. So again, you're here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna copy the URL of the product, come here, come to import, and you're just gonna click on import product. You're gonna wait for sub to do its loading, and once it's done, all it's gonna do is it's gonna import that product over here, and you're gonna just easily drop ship and send that to your store and do your drop shipping in the easiest way possible. So yeah, the three easy steps, sign up with Equid, integrate from the app store with sub drop shipping, and then just go to AliExpress and import the link and import products and send it to your store. So that is how you can do Equid drop shipping with AliExpress. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.